Hello everybody, my name is Ethan and welcome to a, another video. Today is our first ever video in the Great League. Um, these are not my battles though, these are again my friend Kyle's battles. Some awesome content. I just wanted to take a couple days to get off of the Retro Cup into the Great League, see what teams are going on, and that's why I took a little bit of like a, like a couple day hiatus from the channel. But we're back with some videos, but we're going to be starting with my friend Kyle's videos. He's going to be leading Shiny Obama Snow into Obama Snow, and uh, we're going to be able to uh, throw a Weather Ball here. And it's going to be solidly chunking, and we win CMP. It looks like, and we're going to be able to throw a second weather ball and take out the Obama Snow. Really nice. Um, they swap in a Galvantula, which is really bad for them because obviously those Volt Switches aren't doing very super effective damage. And weather balls are going to be hitting for pretty good neutral. We're going to actually swap into um, our Toxicroak here. I believe the team is Obama Snow lead with a Jellicent and a Toxicroak. They're going to be throwing the lunge. We resist lunge. We're going to be throwing the mud bomb. We're going to be getting both shields from the Galvantula. That's really nice. Um, and then honestly, uh, I wouldn't shield this because I know it would be a lunge and it's going to do buff me, but Kyle shields this. See, I'm very stingy with my shields though, so um, it might be the right play here. He throws again, so I'm guessing he just doesn't shield here. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then he's going to bring in either Obama, and he's going to be bringing in Obama Snow. And this is, yeah, this is going to be good game. Oh, he's going to be catching the Hydro Cannon on the Jellicent. Bringing in Jellicent here. Chelsea's been going to be doing just as good against this Shadow Swamper. The Hydro Cannons are hitting for nothing. And he's going to throw the Shadow Ball and basically secure the game here. Could have threw the Energy Ball, but that is fine. We take those. Still got one HP Galvantula in the back. Going into the next match against Hongrebs. Again, leading that shiny Obama Snow into another shiny Obama Snow. Or into a, just another Obama Snow, not shiny. Um, they're going to be throwing the Weather Ball right away. Which it goes unshielded. And we're going to be building up again to those two Weather Balls. So we can throw back to back, taking out the Obama Snow if it goes double unshielded. This time we lose CMP tie though. Um, last time we won it, so it was nice. But Kyle's gonna let his Obama Snow go down this time. Their Obama Snow is gonna be energy dry and be able to be farmed down by Toxicroak here. They're gonna swap in a Charmer. Um, Charmers are usually come in when they see a fire, but because of Toxicroak's poison typing. Um, it makes it so that the uh, charms don't do super effective damage. They do neutral. All right, we're going to be seeing Jellicent versus Jellicent. Kyle's is the girl version of Jellicent, whereas the opponent's is the guy version. Now, I've heard conflicting things about these Jellicents. I have heard that... Oh, nice prediction on the bubble beam there. That was very nice. Um... And we're going to sneak through a Hex there. Very nice as well. Uh, I believe it's just, yeah, it's just going to be another Bubble Beam. The thing I've heard conflicting things about is... Is the guy... I've heard that the girl Jellicent is a better attacker. And then the guy Jellicent is a... Better defensive stat. But then I've also heard that it's just nothing... There's nothing different. It's just cosmetic. And which one ever you like... Um, the thing about Kyle's Jellicent and why their Jellicent feels they can just always go for Shadow Balls is because it has Hex. Um, Hex is um, one of the best moves that you can have. And Kyle has two shields here. Doesn't need to worry about anything available to throw the Sludge Bomb here. And we're going to be taking out the Wigglytuff because Poison does super effective to Charm or to uh, Fairy types. 
So we're on to a 2 and 0 set, not too shabby. And we're going to be uh, going up against our first non Obama slow lead. Now, this is a negative lead because Meta Channel has counter. Um, we're going to be throwing one Powder Snow and swapping into Toxicroak. Um, you got to watch out for that Psychic. Psychic would be one shotting the Toxicroak because it would be double super effective because of Toxicroak's poison and fighting typing. We're going to be getting one shield from the Metacham already just from a Sludge Bomb, or just from a Mud Bomb, sorry. Um, and we're going to be letting this go. It's a Power Up Punch. Very good prediction by uh, Kyle here. He predicts another Power Up Punch, and the opponent swaps out to a Croconaw. Very interesting. A Croconaw comes in. It's going to be taking a Sludge Bomb here. It's got Water Gun, it looks like. What is that fast move? I can't actually tell. I think it is Water Gun, but I'm not sure. It's going to be using Ice Punch. And then going for the Mud Bomb here. Taking out the Croconaw. And then he brings in a Ferrothorn, um, which he has some good answers for this Ferrothorn. Um, power Whips, obviously, from the Ferrothorn aren't going to be doing super effective damage. The one thing that he does have to watch out for, though, is a Flash Cannon. Flash Cannon would be the one move that Ferrothorn has that would be doing super effective. And this game is pretty much sealed up, from what I can tell. He's got his Jellicent on to the Metacham, a very good lead. One of the hardest things that Metacham has to deal with is Ghost Types. Obviously, Psychic Kicks for super effective, but Ghost Types is one of the hardest things that Metacham can go against, and Jellicent especially because of the water typing that resists the Ice Punch. So, um, yeah, it's only time before this Meta and the Metacham has stopped attacking, um, which looks like he has conceded the match because... Uh, it was very good on Kyle, very well played because he aligned and it yeah, definitely looks like the uh, Metacham just left the game. Oh, never mind, they're back. They have decided to bring back in their Ferrothorn. They stopped attacking with Metacham, right? I'm, I wasn't seeing things, right? Um, they're going to be bringing Obama Snow and then leaving the game now. Very interesting, must have had uh, Power Whip and Thunder. And that goes for a 3 and 0 set for today, so far. Obama Snow is going to be picking up a Talon Flame lead. Very bad lead for, for uh, Obama Snow. But Kyle's going to stick in. And, uh, th and throw the Weather Ball here. Weather Ball would be doing neutral damage because of the flying typing. And then he's able to get to the second Weather Ball, which would be taking out the Talonflame. He is not worried at all. He gets the Talonflame in the red and is now going to be able to bring in Jellicent here. Gets two bubbles through. And uh, I would assume perhaps... I would have assumed a Brave Bird. they got to go for a uh, Flame Charge and then swap into uh, the lantern that they have in the back, which is really nice. They got a Thunderbolt coming through. Thunderbolt does a lot of damage. Um, we're going to be going for a Mud Bomb here. Mud Bomb does super effective damage because of Lantern's uh, electric typing. Going for another Mud Bomb. Just to secure the switch. Not if you need it much. They bring on a chestnut. Wow, that's this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna be throwing the shadow ball. I'm curious to why he doesn't throw the ice beam. Ice beam would be doing super effective damage. Um, yeah, the ice beam would have done a bunch more damage, I think. Um, so slight misplay. And he gets the defense fall. Oh my gosh. This is in a rough shape for Kyle. He's going to be throwing another shadow ball. And they are going to be shielding it. But then swapping into Talonflame to get farmed down. What? Very bad misplay by the opponent. Because Kyle still has one shield. 
able to shield the superpower here, which is going to be lowering the defense and attack of the chestnut. And then we're going to be able to go for the shadow ball and take out the chestnut for 4 0 victory. That match was very interesting and very well played by Kyle, but also very bad misplays by the opponent. Swapping in the uh, Talon Flame to um, allow the Jellison just to farm it down doesn't really make sense. Picking up a pretty positive lead here. Um, <clears throat> I do believe that um, Obama Snow beats Azumarill on all shields, I think. Um, so it is a positive lead. And we're going to be going straight for the Energy Ball. And... Uh, the one thing that can hit uh, Jellicent, or what am I saying? The one thing that can hit uh, Obama Snow for a neutral is going to be that uh, Ice Beam. Going to be bringing in an Alolan Marowak against the Jellicent. Going to be going for a Shadow Ball. Gets the first shield. And then gonna look to not shield this no matter what it is. And the Benemy baits with a bone club, and Kyle gets a bubble through. It's very bad to bait. Um, they have a Shadow Ball, which is gonna be taking out the uh, Jellicent, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but fortunately, we do have Toxic Croak with Mud Bomb that's gonna be doing super effective damage because of um, Alola Marowax fire typing. We're going to be getting the last shield. So now we're up two shields to one. We're going to look to use one of these shields to block a potential bone club or shadow ball. We were looking to block the shadow ball. Bone club would also still be doing super effective damage. Um, we have two weather balls loaded on this Abomasino. Um, so we're going to look to throw one and then farm down. Unfortunately, we're not able to farm down, but we still have that extra shield. And that's really important because now Obama Snow has a ton of energy to throw at these back two Pokemon. We're going to look to throw the Weather Ball against the Alolan Marowak. I believe it'll, yep, it's in range to take it out. And then it's going to be an Altaria in the back. Obama Snow knows exactly what to do against this matchup. He's going to be throwing the Weather Ball, doing massive, super effective damage. And then Powder Snowing almost all the way down. And the opponent concedes the match. And I believe that is a 5-0 set. So congrats to Kyle for getting the 5-0. Very awesome. And uh, thanks for letting me feature your uh, videos on the channel. If you want to go check out his channel, I'll link it in the description below. As well as a card in the top right at uh, some point in this video. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.